Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And I am known as Dramatic Parrot. This is my channel where I post two videos a week. I post on Thursdays and Saturdays. So if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and subscribe, and that way you don't miss any of my videos. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram page because I post a lot of art on there, and plus, it's a good way for you guys to connect directly to me. So we have a third movie of a series coming out and it's not Cars 3. It happens to be Despicable Me 3 and I love these movies so much and I'm really excited. I can't believe we haven't gotten to these characters yet but I'm so happy that we're finally getting to the actual people characters because we've done a ton of minions. <laughs> so let's go ahead and draw Gru today. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and first, start with the shape of an egg. And divide up the face. So here's our eye lines and here's the middle of his face. So I'm going to go to the spot all the way up here. You see how I kept the eye line all the way up here. So I want to make my nose spot right here and it's still a bit of a three-quarter view so we're seeing more of this side of this face as opposed to this side. So after this what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump right here and make a little eye area here and then a little eye area over here. So I made a little bit of space off to the side for the right eye. Another thing that I definitely want to do because it's just on top of his head is make his eyebrow. So we're going to start with one eyebrow on the right side. And then we're going to jump over here, and we have another eyebrow on this side. So this one's kind of wrapping around the side over here, and this one's just sitting on top. And they're somewhat close, but not too close together. So let's start with the right eye first. I'm going to just define it a little bit by defining the top lid. Bring this down and kind of round this off. And we have a little bit of a baggy eye underneath sleepless nights of planning villainous plots. So we have a little bit of a baggy eye. Go ahead and put that pupil iris, not too big, right here. And just to define his upper lid, we have a little spot here and a little spot here as well. Then jump over here off to the side Going to define the top lid, go underneath the bottom lid, a little bit of a baggy eye underneath this one. I'm going to bring the pupil area all the way over here, just a bit, not too big. And then we're going to define this eyelid. And he does have a little bit of a shine of his eye. I'm going to give him his pupil. Shine in his eye. Pupil. After this, he won't look right unless we give him his wonderful nose. So we're going to just make a line up above where we made that little bit of a circle. Bring out this part of his nose, the pointy part. And then you're going to bring it back in. So we go outwards and go back in and go this way. So we're going to curve upwards underneath his right eye. And then you're going to go underneath here. And make a triangle like that and you want to shade underneath that part of his nose find where his nostril is. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear up the very bottom of his nose just to make it a look a little bit more shinier and round it down. Don't make it too pointy but you want to round it downwards. Now you, what you want to do is we're just going to go ahead and define his head a little bit more because he does have an interesting head. So his eyebrow on his left side is going out this way 
and we're going down. And then the top of his head, since he's bald, is just flat like this. And then bring down this side from his eyebrow. Go outwards, make an ear, and then this part goes down like this. So with his eyebrows, they are very thick caterpillar looking eyebrows. as well. We're just going to go really thick all the way up on top. And make them nice and furry. It's the only fur on his face. The only <laughs> hair on his face. <laughs> I'm going to define this eye over here off to the side. Give it more of the side of an eye. Bring down that baggy eye. I'm going to lightly shade the eyelid here and underneath dark circles. We got dark circles. Then I'm going to start from right here and go all the way to right here. Big, long smile, nothing too complicated. Just go ahead and connect to each dot. And we're gonna make these dimples. After this, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring down one little side of his scarf here and a little side of his scarf over here. And then from those two spots, we're gonna bring out a shoulder. So bring down this side. Bring down this side of his scarf. We have another shoulder. So it's gonna go out this way. We're gonna have crossed arms. So we have one arm here. I'm just gonna start the upper arm there. And then for over here, this arm is going inwards this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and map off this arm because this arm we're going to start from over here it's going to go up nice and skinny on top i mean on his forearm he should have very skinny the bottom of his arm should be extremely skinny and then I'm going to jump to this arm, bring out this side, go up this way, and from right here I'm going to jump again. So that's this area and this arm would be going up over here. So we have one hand over here, his arms ex are extremely long, and then this arm this hand would be tucked underneath this arm. Before we define a couple of things, I'd like to go ahead and keep laying out his body. So from underneath his arms, you're gonna go ahead and bring out this side. This side underneath his arm, directly underneath, you're gonna bring out this side of his entirety of his body, and then go up. And then you're gonna start from up here bring down all the way down here he just he looks like this ginormous weird looking box <laughs> so from the arm go down go inwards with his body and just very very squarish round off the side just a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and start one leg right here on this side and I'm going to make it about this wide He's got very long, skinny legs. So we're gonna start with one side here, jump over just a little bit. One leg here. And then bring it down. This part. Yes, I know that I went off the paper again. <laughs> That's why I've got another piece. just rounding off the bottom for his pant legs. 
because they're somewhat like skinny jeans. And then this foot will be going this way. I'm just gonna draw a circle and I'm gonna draw a circle right here, going this way. Not even a circle, they're just, I'm making the directions and how small and big the feet have to be. I'm just making how big the feet have to be and just like oval shapes. All right, now let's go back and define Gru a little bit more. What's most important about Gru is his jacket and his scarf. Let's start with his scarf first. So we started from here to here. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect that first layer of scarf, of this part of his scarf, and then underneath we have another part. And then starting from underneath here, we have this part of scarf and it's just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna draw through his arm why we didn't define it. Draw through his arm. Draw through his arm. Go back up. Connect up to here. Go back up. And connect. Then I'm going to bring down this side of his scarf. Bring down, I'm gonna start from this pile, bring down this side, jump over just a little bit and bring down this side. And it's actually going to be as long as his jacket is. Go back up. It's okay to draw through the arms. Just wanna make sure it's nice and even. We go ahead and get rid of the those lines I made through his hand and his arm. For a scarf, it's pretty darn easy. It's just gray and black striped. I'm gonna round out the bottom of Gru's face just a little bit more. Nice and round, I'll get rid of that guideline so you can see what I just made. Go, see it's nice and rounded out. And then I can go ahead and start making my stripes. I'm not gonna, since I wanna make it look like they're not the same, I wanna try to like arrange it to a way that the colors aren't the same, so I got black here, and I'll make and I'll make a point to make this part black down here, so it doesn't look like it's the exact same like bulky part of a scarf. I want to make sure that it looks like it's layered. So I'll make I'm just marking it off. The thing about Gru's scarf is what you want to keep in mind is the black stripes are skinnier and then his gray stripes are squares. So we've got little skinny rectangles. So you wanna go ahead and adjust it that way. When I start over here, what I wanna do is you wanna make sure that you do wanna like separate the scarf that's hanging down from what's wrapped around his neck. So you see I left a white space over here so I can go ahead and make this part a black stripe and this part a black stripe this part a black stripe and then same over here I'm at a white space so I'm gonna make this black next thing I'd like to do is to define his jacket just a little bit more and when I say define him, we're just going to give him a little bit of like his lapel on top. So we have one little lapel coming up off his shoulder over here and then it goes down into his shoulder. Jump over off to the side and define that lapel a little bit more. And then it goes down into his shoulder. Then let's start with this side. Over here we have a watch. We're just gonna go ahead and define that watch, give him his wristband, and then we don't see much of this hand, but we see a lot of this hand right here. So just, let's go ahead and draw this hand, and I'm just gonna erase that top of that scarf. But we do know that we want his hand over here. I have this pointer finger, that's the only finger that's going up and then down. 
Just we define a little bit of that gap right there. He has really long fingers. And then we can start with his middle finger. This one is going to be tucked underneath the other part of his fingers. And then we have ring finger and then pinky finger. I'm just going to lightly give him a little bit of knuckles right here. Just making his sleeves a little bit bulkier. They're still very clingy to his body, but I'm just going to make it look more like a little bit more of a fabric. And what you want to do is just draw a line straight through his jacket and just make that line pretty good rectangle so I'm going to draw two lines on each side nothing too serious what you want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and draw like little pet little teeth on this side and little teeth on this side just to give it that look of a zipper okay so we can go ahead and just and just make these nice and smooth. Leading up into each other, his legs are going to be nice and smooth. And then one foot, we're going to make it nice and boxy at the bottom. So we have our heel and then one side's going to go out this way. And then at the bottom here, one's gonna go down. And it's gonna go turn outwards. Bring out this side, box it off up top. Give a nice pointy, pointiness right here. And a nice pointiness right here. We got those evil looking pointy villain shoes. And there we have his shoes and his legs. Keep in mind for shading Gru's face, he does have, we kind of went over it when I was teaching you up here, but you do want to make sure that this is nice and dark up here on this side of his face. And it's dark underneath his eyebrow here and right here because these are ultimately his eye sockets. And you just want to make that nice and dark, especially underneath his nose, just to give that impression that he does have that long nose and then a little bit darkness from the side of his nostril, but you wanna keep it nice and bright, light over here, because you wanna make give that impression that it's protruding forward. So keep that in mind, but you do wanna make these underneath his eyes nice and baggy and dark because he's still a villain. <laughs> I mean, he's a really good guy, but he's still a villain, and we want to make sure he's got those baggy dark circles underneath his eyes from evil plotting. I'm going to make his dimples a little bit more shaded in, and he doesn't really, he has one single lip line, but you can go around and lightly shade around that area just to give him a little bit more definition on his face because he doesn't have that much going on. Because he's such an interesting looking character. And I want to define his ear, so I'm going to give him that ear lobe. And then the inside of his ear, make that nice and dark. And this is connected, so we can get rid of that line. And then I'm going to just shade underneath here. I'm going to shade alongside his face. So there you guys go, there is how you draw Gru from Despicable Me 1, 2, and 3. But yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I definitely want to go through all the little girls and Lucy, so let's go ahead and keep going with Despicable Me 3 characters. I'll see y'all later. Bye!
Bye.